Seth David here from the world famous Nerd Enterprises Incorporated, bringing to you part six of extreme bookmarking, how to manage all of those apps. And this time we're talking about ClickUp. Now, if you're already using ClickUp to manage all your projects and pretty much everything else, then ClickUp is going to be probably the way you're going to want to go in terms of choosing which of these apps I'm showing you. Because if you've already got everything else here, it makes sense to build this process into the tool that you're already using as opposed to adding another tool into the mix, which underscores the fact that I'm, I'm not necessarily um, a fan of adding extra apps unnecessarily. I do believe strongly in having the right tool for the right job. And I think as you'll see in a second, ClickUp can absolutely be the right tool for this job, especially if you're already using it for everything else. Let's take a look at my screen and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So when you build this out, you're probably going to want to create a separate list somewhere in your ClickUp spaces just for this purpose, as I've done here. Okay, so I've got like my nerd headquarters and I've created this bookmarks list. I'm going to zip this up to give us some more real estate to work with. And if you've watched part four on Airtable, you're going to see this works almost identical to how we set it up in Airtable. So we have the task name, which of course is going to be the name of the item, client X, click up and so on. And because you're going to be setting this up for probably a lot of clients, You'll want to uh, think about that when you're naming things. You want to think about this particular view, and you'll want the ability to easily distinguish what's what. You're also going to have a custom label field here, right? I will edit the field so you can see what I did here, called client or entity, right? So this would be for like my internal links. And of course, I have the stuff from my firm. The distinction here is this is stuff specifically to the firm. This might be more global stuff, right? Again, this is up to you how you want to set this up. <clears throat> then, of course, I've got your options for client X, Y, and so on. And then there may be links that you want to kind of define as links that are applicable where one particular link is applicable for all clients, like your QuickBooks Online login, something like that, right? So we've got that set up. Uh, then I create a, another custom label link called Workspace, okay? And this is just to bigger picture you know, define what area generally something goes in, whether it's for the firm, for your clients, or personal stuff, right? I, this way you can put links to your personal things in here as well. Why not, right? And then finally, I have another custom label field called app or place, right? And that's exactly as the name suggests. So this is, you know, anytime you're setting up a link to, let's say, a client's ClickUp uh, folder, however you've got that set up, that's going to be ClickUp, right? Then you have all the links to each of your company websites for your clients, right? It's very handy to have those kind of links. Um, you know, the Facebook page for yourself and for all your clients, Google Drive links, lists here if you're using that, Mighty Networks, right? Uh, QuickBooks Online. Um, this would be like bookmarks to reports and things. This would be bookmarks to the company itself, right? Um, and then the Slack workspace if you're using Slack. Um, Smartsheet, Twitter, whatever you want to add here, right? You get the idea. So this would be to the app, or it kind of describes what the link is referring to. Um, and then, of course, ClickUp does a great job. As you can see, once you paste the URL in, it kind of summarizes the URL, right? And it recognizes, you know, ultimately what domain that URL is pointing to. As you can see when I hover my mouse over, this ClickUp link is going to a much longer URL, but ClickUp recognizes that and says, okay, we're going to ClickUp.com. And it just kind of shows you that, and it pulls in a little icon, so it's very clear, right? This would be client X's website, right? Client Y.com. This is a link, another example that I gave where the link is going to my own website, right? Uh, this is going to the Facebook page, as you can see when I hover my mouse over. You get the idea. So you, you paste the link in, and ClickUp just does a really nice job of rendering these links. It's like they actually took the time to think about the fact that they might want to make this look nice for you. Okay, now once you've got this built out or you've started to build it out the way I can, the beauty of these different custom label fields is that you can group by then, right? So let's say I want to group it by client over here into group by custom field, client or entity, and done. And now I can focus, you know, very easily on the links for a particular client, right? But you can also use your filtering. Okay, so let's say I'd rather filter this for one particular client. Let me kill off the grouping for a second. So we'll say group by none. And I'll go into my filter. And I'll say let's filter by client. Okay, and I only want to look at 
Let's use the uh, Seth David's Nerd Enterprises Inc. because that's kind of like a sample company. It's got a good set of data that we can look at, right? So instantly I'm filtered by this. Notice I've already got this configured to sort it by app or place. Okay. So that's kind of nice because it makes it easy to find what I'm looking for. If I want to get into the ClickUp space for this, I click here on this link. And sure enough, it launches in a new tab. That's another thing I like is they're smart enough to configure these URLs when you're using them to go into a new tab as opposed to making you lose your place here. And here I have a sample area in my ClickUp file. Actually, this is not a sample area. This is my everything view that I happen to link it to. Okay. So we'll get out of there. This, of course, goes to my website. You get the idea. So just like with Airtable, I can group by any of these, you know, any of these fields. And I can sort by whatever I want to. And I can filter it however I want to. And then I can save these different views, right? So let me clear out this filter because this is meant to be sort of the root view that shows everything. And then I actually save these views. Here's by client or entity. Okay, and this, again, has a group that way. And then here's just client X, which, of course, is filtered for, in this case, I didn't filter it for client X. I filtered it for this one. Um, but you get the idea. Again, it works just like Airtable. The only thing Airtable can do that you can't do here that I'm not sure you'd want to is you can create multiple grouping levels in Airtable, whereas here you can only group on one level. But I think, especially for a use case like this, grouping on more than one level would actually make it sort of unwieldy, cumbersome, you know, hard to look at and hard to follow. So I think, like I said, if you're already using ClickUp for everything else, then this makes sense as your choice of, of weapons to use uh, for this use case and for this purpose. And I don't think you'll find it wanting in terms of not being able to group on more than one level. That, my friends, is how you would use ClickUp for extreme bookmarking and how to manage all of those apps.